So everything looks very similar as you see compared to there. So hmm. hi my loves, welcome back to my new welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Lydia Stanley and if you're not new thank you so 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 much butterfly for coming back to my channel today in today's video we're going to be doing one video that I haven't done in a while on my channel it's going to be doing my full face using one Nigerian brand and that Nigerian brand is going to be Nuban Beauty today okay so I'm going to show you how to get from this to this in about two hours <laughs> If you like to see that transformation and also hang out with me, please keep on watching. And if you end up enjoying, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. The first step is, of course, makeup base. I'm going to be using the Nuban Beauty Primer. It's a silicone based primer and it comes out like that. It reminds me of, uh, I think, Maybelline Baby Skin or so. That's the texture that this has. My next step will be color corrector. Now, this has to be my absolute favorite. Like, Loki, I think this is a really brand, Nigerian brand that has a really good color corrector that does what a color corrector is supposed to do. That is the shade that a color corrector is supposed to be for our dark skin. What I like to do with this is just to go in with the corrector, just a little bit. And just cancel any darkness that I may have on my face. When I'm going for like a complete full flawless bit like this, I like to also go to the size of my mouth. I'm doing I want to do half the side first. I don't know if that will just so you can see the difference, but I don't know if I have the time for that. Because I'm actually getting ready to cough. Okay, let's just do everything. This step is very crucial, trust me. But if you don't do it, you won't see the difference. <laughs> I used to not think it was necessary until I started like... <sighs> this makeup sponge from Nuban to blend it out. I haven't made the sponge down yet. And that this makes it just... I don't know if you could tell, but like now you can see that my skin is a lot more even. Before you could see like under my eye dark, size of my nose dark, my mouth area dark. But now there's like one layer. This is what color corrector does. So when you put your foundation on, you won't see those darkness underneath your skin when you're like taking pictures and stuff. And now for my absolute favorite foundation, like even without working with Nuban, I have backups of this. It's the um, my skin foundation. This foundation is honestly so good. I cannot quantify how good this foundation is. From the packaging to the applicator, everything is so well thought out. From the foundation itself, I mean the shade D. It, this 13 Queen Amina. I cannot see myself doing my makeup without this foundation. Sometimes some of my other foundations will even be too light. I have to go in and mix it with this, or they are too matte. I have to go in and mix it with this one because this just really answers its name. I have a, an earlier video where I watched Novan Beauty's foundation. I'll try to link it to this one so you can go check it out in case you want to try out Novan's foundation. Just look at that. So beautiful. It has this very beautiful, like soft matte finish. And if you also want to try and make this a lot more glowy, you can just mix it in with your foundation or your primer. I didn't actually show you, but I put some of my primer into my foundation. It's a step I always do. If your makeup um, melts off your skin or immediately starts sweating, it falls off. Try that step. 
even if you still sweat, your foundation will be intact once you finish cleaning out the sweat. Does that make sense? I'm leaving all these places that concealer will usually go a bit bare so that it won't be too much layer. Like that's why you can still see the orange. I adjusted the light, I don't know if you noticed, so it looks better now. Nuban Beauty wants me to let you know that they are now open in Abuja and the address is on the screen right now so if you're in Abuja and you want to pick up anything I used on my face Nuban Beauty is the truth Nuban Beauty is the truth I'll not stare you wrong, you know so if you're in Abuja or somewhere in the north and you want to pick up these from Abuja just check the screen right now or check my description box for the actual address and you can walk in instead of ordering online to get your stuff from Nuban Beauty okay now let's get into the glam part of this video for concealer I'm going in with 043 from Nuban like this concealer what I've noticed is it's very buttery very beautiful but you have to Would you like a detailed highlight and contour tutorial on YouTube? I feel like no one watches makeup tutorials anymore. This is just something that I've personally noticed. People enjoy vlogs more now and lifestyle content more than makeup, or at least for my audience. So. But I like makeup. Makeup was what made me start in the first place. So every now and then, expect a makeup tutorial from me. This concealer is so buttery and so pretty too. It has a very pretty yellow undertone. I didn't put a lot, so even though it looks like this, I was just trying to get an even layer. I the beauty blender damp now to help me blend out this concealer. When blending concealer for a beginner, it's best to just tap it, like just tap, tap, tap. Don't try to use your pretty blender to drag the concealer. Just the best um, method of blending is tapping, tapping motion like this. Just tap it into place. And if you feel like you have excess um, concealer on your eyes at the time, just take your beauty blender, squeeze it, squeeze it with a and just get the excess out and continue blending don't try to um, panic or don't try to blend it all over your face because you have excess concealer make sure the concealer just stays where you want it to stay okay that's beautiful Honestly speaking, that's my absolute favorite product from them. And then look at their concealer. Just, just, just look at the beauty. Imagine when I said this with their beautiful setting powder. You can't go wrong with no bad, honestly. It, it seems like I'm over singing their praise, but you honestly cannot go wrong with them. I just placed the concealer also I used to contour on my nose but I didn't you saw I didn't bring it down because it's not necessary this way taking it into the brows more and bringing it down gives you like that very slim detailed contoured nose so I've been liking to contour my nose now turning it more into my brows down the sides of the nose. So what it automatically does is reduces this area and that gives you a slim nose. So 
So now that I've applied that, I'm going to go in with a little bit more concealer but I'll put it on the back of my hand so I don't end up taking too much and I'm going to clean up this area here just so that it's not dark right close to the eye here like there and that also helps to clean up your contour This is part of their new ultra collection because everything I'm using or most of what I'll be using, especially the eyeshadow, I'm so excited to show you, is from their ultra collection. So this lipstick is called Scream and it's a very beautiful like orange shade. So beautiful if you can come out. I love the packaging, I love how big and thick this is. Oh I'm going to use this for is blush cream blush so I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand just right here just look at how pigmented that is and what I've noticed with these liquid lipsticks is that they don't dry matte so quickly so you're not worried about it um, I'm using the dry move on there now you're not worried about it drying quickly it has a very nice fragrance too. Just, just, just look at that. Very fresh. Mm -hmm. This shade reminds me of that shade that, sh that trended so much from Selena Gomez. I don't know. Um, Joy Blush, I think. I'm not sure what that's called. I feel like this one is showing up more on my dark skin because of the pigment in Nubans. This and that other one will be too um, light for me. This is so pretty. Yeah, so you can use a liquid lipstick as you can use anything almost as blush. TBH. I'm going in with the sponge I use underneath my eyes. Just to run out those edges and make it look seamless. I hope you can see the blush because I can. I know I can. We're going into setting and I'll be using alabasta and a bit of um, caramel. I'm going to be mixing them. This is caramel as well. All these powders, they control oil. They're super fine and they're very, very like blurring. Honestly, I I would highly recommend each and every one of them to you if you can get all of them. So Sahara is like my face shade, the, the, the darkest one I have. As that might be what I used to set my face. I used to use to set my face caramel and mixing these two together. Okay, this is how it, I can just mix mixing it. It's not difficult to mix powder. In case you were wondering, I'll take it with a brush first to set because I noticed that getting it with I noticed that getting it with a brush first makes it just stay very beautifully matte um, makes it not settle into your fine lines then you can go back in if you want to be baking I notice just makes that place extra brighter oh <laughs> look at that Baking makes your under eye or wherever you're baking just maintain the color of the powder while setting like this just sets the makeup. Does that make sense? So you can see how blurring that is like wow. So if I were to bake now you will see this side. I'll add a bit of powder because I want to do a very pretty holiday. I said, I hope it turns out nice. If you see any creases, blend it out before you set. Because once you set, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Nuban Beauty now is in Abuja and 
their address i'm going to have it on the screen and also in the description box so if you want to shop any of the products and you live in abuja even somewhere in the north i think they can ship to you since shipping from abuja will be easier than shipping from lagos i would highly recommend you check it out if you live in abuja you can get all the products i'm using in store in person like you can go to the store they will help you match your shade they will help you um you know anything you want they are in the bouge is that how it's called the bouge bouja abuja nigeria <laughs> i'm using a tinier brush i noticed that when setting my nose now if i want to maintain this pointiness before i used to get lazy and just put the powder anyhow with the beauty blender but i noticed that that does not give me the coverage you can see that this brush is applying it heavier than the other brush so this is how you bake you see the color of the powder they leave it for a while you know break from my under eye just a little bit I'm sorry the lighting keeps getting bright and dark. The sun is rising and falling so it's contributing and the window is in front of me. Oh that's so pretty. So pretty. I fell in love with this powder and I've not looked back ever since honestly. I've not looked back and I love it has this faint like very nice fragrance. I don't even know what it is. We have really perceived it in their products and nowhere else. Brows. I'm using the Nuban Beauty Brow Pencil. And I just love that this brand already has everything I need, you know. That I enjoy using. You know some brands actually have what you need, but they are not that great, honestly speaking. Am I even going to hide my mouth? <laughs> so I already just applied um powder to my brows using the beauty blender. We have a few cute things from the Ultra Collection I wanted to show you. This brush set is for beginners. It has five brushes. Every brush you need. I have a tutorial on Instagram where I show you how to achieve it. Using how to achieve a full face using these brushes and a beauty blender. This palette is super beautiful. It's the Nuban Beauty Ultra Palette. And just look at these beautiful colors. I'm not going to use this as a blush, but I want to show you this one. Like this one is so stunning. Oh, can you see how it's shifting? Like the shimmers in this palette are on another level. The mattes are really pigmented, but then the shimmers, nah, so good. Let me swatch the matte for you to see what I'm saying. Like, come on now. Just look at the colors very pigmented transferred so to wipe it off and they're not easily wiping off <laughs> that's how you tell how how pigmented eyeshadow is like if you're trying to wipe it off it's not going anywhere it's actually a blush and eyeshadow palette but of course those blush shades you can use it as eyeshadow i'm going to go into eyeshadow base right now place it on my lid if you don't use a base for your eyeshadows what are you doing boo this makes your eyeshadow looks a hundred times better than if you were not to use them for your eyeshadow looks so
try a lot of oils and you might not be aware of these oils but they don't let your eyeshadows last or stay long on your eyes I'm going in with this eyeshadow brush from Urban Beauty it's from the Ultra Collection Personal Brush Set so this is the shade I actually want to use this one here, not this one <laughs> but I'm going to take this one to the set the base before going in with it let me show you what this reminds me of Christmas coming <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing but all the shimmers here they are banging they're so good Nikkei on my lid Nikkei is like a yellow shade mustard yellow I just need something like a light wash I'm not trying to build the pigment so I'm taking it lightly I want to do something whereby I just place the lid color first to avoid me going in and blending and blending and adding more of the crease color. Does that make sense? I'm going in with Fumi. Fumi is so beautiful. So beautiful. That's beautiful. And the matte shades. And these shimmer shades are not cracking up at all. That's so beautiful. a very pretty like olive gold shade brush set this is one of my favorite brush sets from them and i'm going to use the shade uju uju is this shade here i'm going to map out my crease with this I'm taking in these two colors now, this one and this one. Just to blend out the top of that as my um, transition color, if you will. I'm going to take the black thread lightly with black so just very little I like to just slowly feed it into let me know if this way is easier for you you think to do eyeshadow like going in with all these colors after you've done the lid color or going in with defining the crease first before you do the lid color but defining the crease is very important you can see this eye and this eye the difference is there so it's very very important and black just oof, black just amplifies everything imagine putting a black base on this eye I wanted to keep it with this original color but if I wanted to do a very pretty olive green smoky eye I'll just put a black base all over here and put this color on it it's a bit out of space, very beautiful I might do that if we end up having like any <laughs> fancy Christmas events, good yeah, Christmas is already coming 
if you're not thinking about Christmas already, you're on your own, okay? But Christmas is already coming. I'm excited. So I'm just taking that black just gently, placing it just at the outer corner. I'm taking a very fluffy but clean Nubam Beauty brush and I'm just blending out all the lines, possible harsh lines. Just so everything looks very seamless, you see, compared to there. So. The fact that this shimmer showed up like this without me having to put any water on it, chef's kiss. Lashes just make all the difference, I tell you. And we're done with the eyes now, and you can see that there's really no fallout. So nobody knows what they are doing. If there's any brand that I'll keep rep if there's any brand I'll keep repurchasing, it's definitely Nuban. To take care of my under eyes now, I'm using this brush from their Ultra Collection. Very soft. Their bristles are very, very well made. They don't eat you. They are not excessively hard. This is my absolutely um, fave powder it's called Nairobi and it's their mineral powder you know MAC mineralized skin finish Nova Beauty gave you that they gave you that here but very affordable like it's not MAC money but it's MAC quality I'm using that to dust off the excess underneath my eyes just so that I don't rub those black tiny specks of eyeshadow over my face So beautiful now I'm setting the rest of my face this step has made my makeup step up so it doesn't make sense if you finish doing all your face just go in with a soft brush or not a brush that will move your makeup and just blend everything together actually let me take this off so we can blend that together now I'm going to use the brush I use for my foundation with a little foundation on it maybe and just blend this just so it looks very like blended powder now so this is what I always use now to define my parts so the powder is not only for one use it's a full third with me Abby Blush, I'm using Echo. Echo is a shade that matches the Echo is a shade that matches the liquid lipstick I use and I'm going to be using this brush. I'll take a bit of this shade here as well for my contour. It's called Uju. So let's do the contour first. This palette is literally all in one. And then blush. So beautiful. Oh, I love how subtle it is, yet it's making a statement. Okay, I love that. I thought my camera was recording, but it wasn't. I just did something. I used the shade Sadia, this one. I use this as a highlighter, that's what you can see on my face and a bit on my cheeks as well, very lightly, it's very pigmented so I didn't want to do so much with it. Now this is my 
what this is my absolute favorite if there's something else i'll have i'll never stop purchasing from i just love noban beauty but if there's something else i'll never stop purchasing from them it is this silly setting spray just look at my face now this is the before close your eyeshadow so that it doesn't you know mess up your eyeshadow and this is what it looks like after i don't know if you saw that but it just makes your makeup look like skin you know Nuban and skin they are one and the same that's it let me just get my self together okay no eh? lipstick <laughs> Let's mess it all together. You don't have lipstick on. I'm using this. Nuban Beauty did something with this, their Ultra Collection launch. Okay. This is our own. This is our own Juvia's Place and Buddha Beauty because they are giving you quality for affordable. This is it. It's a twist on roll on pencil. There are several shades. I'm going to just use this to line my lips now. They have several shades. They have several shades in the lipstick as well. And the fact that it's a roll-on pencil, so it saves time as well. Very buttery, very beautiful. Like I said, they have several shades. Several, like over 10 different types of shades. Red, brown. You know, to make your lipstick gang gang. I don't know if I should do orange. It's been a while I did orange for. I feel like my eyes. Uh, I feel like my eyes are a bit too dramatic for orange. Don't know. Let me try and see. <laughs> Just a little bit. So pigmented. I told you it doesn't dry quickly, it gives you a lot of time to blend. I'll just highlight it. That shade I use called cream, the same one I use as blush. Should I highlight it? Now that it's getting matte, it's looking so pretty. This shade I'm using to highlight is called cuties. Or oh, yeah, cuties, cuties. On the bottom lip, though, that's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I tell you, you know, I'm a gloss girl, so I'm definitely going to gloss this up. But this is such a pretty matte. Wow. I just want to darken this a bit. Hmm. 
Mm, it's so beautiful. Should I do gloss? Voila. Then I brush it with gloss, but it's such a pretty like. Mmm. We just unlock a new favorite combo. Scream and cuties from Urban Beauty. Let me do gloss. I'm using this gloss. It's called Gem. It's like an orangey tint. It's from Urban Beauty as well. So. Uh. Yeah, this is the finished look. This is so pretty. I'm glad I didn't go for like regular nude. It's so beautiful. Okay, let me just go take care of my hair, change my outfit, and I'll be right back, okay? So my loves, that completes the look. And this is the look in um, more like daylight and sunlight. So you can really see the flawlessness that Nuban Beauty does to your skin or does for your skin. Like if there's any Nigerian brand I recommend you to try, definitely will be Nuban Beauty. So check them out check out their new Abuja address, check out the products I linked or I talked about in this video. What part of this video was your favorite? I honestly would like to hear. And if you'd like to see me try out more Nigerian brands, leave your favorite Nigerian brand down below. For me, Nuban Beauty is top five, okay? Top five. <laughs> I'm going to see you in my next video, Butterfly. Thank you for hanging out with me. Give me a thumbs up. Always leave me a comment because you know I always respond. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!